Alright, so, how's everyone tonight? Yeah, it's Felina, really that's, not well. Felina, that's not, that's not good. That doesn't bode well. I might, I guess I'll have to prepare the critical fumble deck. Go away. <laughs> I'll take that three. That's my lucky three now. <laughs> it's your lucky three because it's not a one? Yep. <laughs> oh, let's see. Let's see how the NPCs are going to do today. Not much better. Man, we need a two in between that. <laughs> oh, God, this is going to be a fucking slap fight. <laughs> Just like that fucking one video you sent me, Strax. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That is the best. Jesus Christ, I fucking... I need to open a window or something, because Jesus Christ, fucking living in the north. It's gonna be 20 degrees in the morning. Oh no, but we're gonna warm up to the 50s by the afternoon. Oh, shut up! I'm kidding, but it feels like it's the 50s in my room. I was gonna say, I mean, I got snow by the inches here. Anyway, I gotta go crack my window open. Be right back. And two seconds later, he returns. Time to format notes. Notes, I got some of those. Okay, Somewhere. So, last time on this campaign that doesn't have an official name, y'all rescued Damon. The eldest son of Lord Bremont, who rules, you know, these lands and the surrounding towns. And then you start, you completed your journey to Casurgis Mine in order to get some gold because Felina needs some monies to pay her rent. And it has the, the morning, you know, the night's passed. It's now morning. The town is hustling and bustling with people going to the mines and from the mines. Merchants go into their shops, what have you. What happened to the rat buddy? Uh, he's sleeping in. He's sleeping in for the moment, so... What shall y'all do? So we just got up out of bed? You just got, got up out of bed. Alright, I'm gonna hop out, fucking stretch, real, stretch and yawn and be like, Rise and grind, let's get this bread. Before I put my armor on and head over to mm, the fucking go outside to the to the smithy area the smith that owned the shop you were working at the night before is in his shop now using his equipment okay is there another place around yeah there's plenty of them but they're active now they got all their merchants and craftsmen working on various mining equipment such as pickaxes and rails mm, I'll come back later all right what about uh what about you really what's up hmm? what you want to do really had saunters out of his bed stumbles through the door and heads downstairs for some drinks it waiting is. for the rest of the people to show up hmm. yeah. uh Damon will be down there having a bit of a drink as well. Felina, how about you? Uh, Felina takes a makeup kit and sadly give, tries to return it to Alvaria. <laughs> what? When did you. What? She lent it to me the night before because I was trying to do something oh. and, well. Oh, Things I you didn't stole go it. as. No, no, no! I didn't steal it. I was actually going to return it. 
Okay. What about you, Alva? Are you? Hmm? You're gonna hang around the tavern? Yeah. The, uh, the... After I accept the disguise kit back. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck did I call this thing? Eh, da -da, it's somewhere here in the north. The norts? The norts! Skyrim belongs to them! Deep the Dweller. Deep, deep Dweller Tavern. Okay. <laughs> Is it sad that your players don't. Never mind. I got a lot of shit on my shoulders, okay? <laughs> I had to make 12 NPCs. Well, I didn't have to, but I decided to make 12 NPCs over the week. Man, first all that shit on the roads, now on your shoulders. It's not very sanitary over there. <sighs> yeah, no, it's 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 absolutely terrible. We need to get a cleaning crew, or at least you know, at least one wizard cannot be fucking lazy and use press the digitation. But nope, 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 not gonna happen. <laughs> They're gonna be lazy pieces of shit. Hey, come on now. <laughs> Uh, you're a fighter, what do you care? Alright. So, how do y'all want to earn some coins, huh, Felina? What's, what's, what's the deal? How are you going to earn money? I thought the plan of the day was try to find a job inside the mines from a merc. Something. Alright, sounds good. Do you want to look at the tavern? You may also just ask random passers-by if they know places to get jobs. You can, you know, go into random buildings and shout, I need a job. What, what, what you want to do? I quite like that plan. <laughs> sure. I, I'll find... Well, the tavern's where we've been staying, right? Yeah. Okay, so what is, like, a business or something that's right outside of the tavern? Because I don't want to shout it right in the place that we're staying at. There's a stable. I doubt there's people, a lot of people there. There's a quarter house where they would house some miners that actually work in the town and stay there. Yeah, let's shout in the quarter house. Okay. Uh, give me a, you know what, yeah, okay, what do you want to shout? You go in there, there's kind of like a mess area as you open it up, and you see some miners having breakfast. Hey, I need some monies! Anybody got a job for us? <laughs> <laughs> they all look at you, just weird. Bravo. One of them goes, really add this. I assume that he kind of sees her walk yeah. out the door and hears this a, a while after. Yeah, yeah, you do. You all do. He kind of follows her to the sound of it. <laughs> uh, what my friend here is trying to ask is, where is your employer? Oh, our employer stays at the foreman's house up a hill. A porch hill, my good friend. Uh, here, yeah, here. He'll he'll kind of lead you outside, and then he kind of points several layers of buildings up, and you see this house that has kind of a flowing dark red banner over its door. That one right there. Alright, thank you. No problem. If you're looking for work, you can also check the Hunter's Guild. I'll keep that in mind. Where would that be? Alright. He kind of leads you, zooms you out a little bit by leading you, you know, about a couple blocks down, and then he points to a building that is just cresting over one of the foothills. Right down there. Right. These are some interesting buildings you have here. Do you know who's constructed them? And I'll try and lead him into a deep conversation about the architecture of the buildings. 
but I'm signaling for Felina to try and pick his pockets. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me a... Hmm. I'll, I'll, do, I'll, I'll do a diploma... Or a bluff check. Give me a bluff check since you're kind of... Yeah, that's kind of like a feint. Yeah, that is kind of like a feint. Okay. First up, I gotta see what... Uh, what is... This? So, I should do the sleight of hand anyways, just to kind of like... Whether or not... <laughs> well, if you think give this as like an aid another, it's just a uh. <laughs> it might just be like he had to roll 10 or higher to give you the plus 2 yeah, for him not I'm to gonna... notice you. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if he even makes that check first. And then we'll see what happens with the aid and other. If if that eleven is successful, then I'll give the plus two. God damn it! What the fuck are these character sheets? Okay, here we go. Finally, you made too many. I did make too many. <laughs> I had to though, and this is why. This is why I had to make too many so I could remember these things. He looks at you kind of suspiciously. Uh, you know, it's just like, it would just places, you know, kind of the, the workers, I guess, would have built them. Ah, uh, yes, that's all well and good. I seem to have bored you anyways. What a dumb question for me. Well, I guess I'll be off then. Enjoy your work. Yeah, he nods at you and then walks back to the quarterhouse. Felina loses her balance and tries bumping into him. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. What is his bonus to perception? Yo, oh, are you alright? <laughs> yes, I am. You gotta watch your footing. Not gonna survive long in the mines if you lose your footing like that. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm always clumsy. I, I'm sorry about that. It's fine. And then he'll go back to the quarterhouse. Was I able to get anything in that drop? Woo! Stole his pocket sand. Barely. <laughs> she got five silver. That could be used as pocket sand. Hmm? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, so. Uh, really, do you want to just group up with everybody and see which direction they want to go? Yeah, that's the plan. Unless you want to ditch them. I mean, there's less eyes to be washed if there's less people to be with us, but... Eh, that... I'll leave it up to the... You know, I'm, I'm joking. I kind of want the lady with the giant sword to help us some more. She was... Whew! That assassin did not like her. Alright! Yeah, we can... Well... We'll join back. If you think they have a lot of muscle, I think that hunter thing sounds more up their alley, but we'll... Up to them. We head back. Okay. He's eating pizza, so he's not catching up with us. <laughs> I'm way ahead of him on that. Why did you earlier? I'm at the tavern and I had and I'm looking for some kind of breakfast. Okay, the there there's breakfast. What do you what type of breakfast do you want? On eggs and bacon and some type of wheat. Of course, there is. There is yes, there's pizza in D and D. Why have we not had pizza before? God damn it! 
<laughs> That's on you. I've okay. had noodles. Okay, Jonafoa. I'm gonna say, uh, no. Let's, let's make it one silver for that type of breakfast. All right, I pay the silver and then I sit down and I fucking eat that protein shit. Good, you have you there. You got protein. Plus one protein. Plus one protein. Yep. Plus one nom bonus to protein. All right, fucking dope. Yep, and the rest of you indeed see Felina and Riliad return from wherever the fuck they went. I turn, I turn my head and I look at them and I'm like, oh, Savak, friends. Yeah, we're back from wherever the fuck we went. <laughs> you see, we found two job offers so far. We can go to the foreman's house up a giant hill, or there is the hunter's lodge, I believe he called it. Guild. Guild, same thing. Which would be that a ways, and I point that a ways. Hey, look who finally got up, our rat friend over there. Rise and shine, squeakers. Savat Savota. Yep, you all see Scron just kinda drag himself down the stairs with the bed head and Cuddled with cheese. Cuddled with cheese, sure, yep. Probably not, considering all of his cheese is in his cart. Where is that cart, by the way? It's at the stables. I'm gonna help for a second, guys. <laughs> Where are you going? To the bathhouse. Don't you take baths? And I head out the door to the oh, stables. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> with you, considering that he needs to, he probably needs to take a bath smelling himself. Aren't you, you one of those what? perfume mice folk? It's like he's, he's actually walking, and it's like, yeah, I could probably use a bath. It's been quite a while. Mel me. Mel's you know, I believe you could. You're right. Okay, y'all go to a bathhouse. Yeah. Damn it. So anyway, <laughs> uh, Felina, you said your name was? Yeah. Well, what's on our uh, job list thingy for today? Well, that's the thing we were trying to discuss before really I kind of just ran off to the, and she kind of uses air quotes, bathhouse. And we have a couple of leads for places we can try going to the foreman for the mines, or there's like this Hunter's Guild thing. And I don't know about you guys, but Hunter's Guild kind of sounds more promising. Oh, yeah? I uh, mean, y you have the more muscle stuff than I do, but I I guess you'd be qualified for either. I was I'm, gonna say I'm flattered, but I'm not sure how my physique has anything to do with our uh, our competence as a group, I suppose. I mean, we are just looking for jobs, so if anything, we could talk to one, talk to the other, and then see which which is the most lucrative. Yeah, that's true. Although, really, Ed has the directions. I kind of missed what they said. Something about over the hills, but I forgot to... Well, why not? Let, let's just go grab him out of the bathhouse. Um, I don't know, is bathhouses one of those, uh, only guys can go into the guys and girls can go into the... Uh, I'm sure it yeah. will be a huge deal. I'm sure the GM did not expect this question. I, no, I didn't. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. You know what, I'll, I'll decide the way I decide fucking everything. 
It's his genderless tail sit. Everyone's free to use any bathhouse. All right, let's go grab him. On your way to grab really Ed, you see him sprinting back. <laughs> After he has told Tron, shit, I think I left the oven on in my room. Sorry, I'll be back. <laughs> I sort of stop with, like, a clothesline. Just sort of stick my arm out. No. no. There's, there's no oven in there? I paid for the room. Oh, you ha you hadn't seen my room, sorry. But, um, I'll be back. And I sprint up. No. no. Stay right here for a moment. Nope. He's already gone. Yeah, no, he's following. So very much, uh... Yeah. I, I want to see the challenge. Fight me on that. Still very confused and wants to see this. Oven. He wants to see this oven now. I'd like to see this oven. It's very interesting. Guys, we can go see really adds oven later. We need to fucking. We need money. But I need fun. money. We'll catch on fire. You know what? Needs Go money. Floor, that's a good idea. If it caught on fire, they probably smelled it and fixed it for already. Let's just go. Alright. Did uh, <laughs> Felina tell you all what's going on here? I would like Roughly. To see that oven, though. I'm very intrigued how a Scrawn, oven. I know you like to cook things with, the, with your bottles and stuff, but we got work to do. Okay. I mean, it's not very hard to understand, Scrawn. I just ordered an oven with my room surface. It's really... So, up that hill over there, there, there should be a house with a red banner. You installed an oven in your room overnight? And you had time to use it before morning? Yes. Well, I mean, personally, if I knew I could just order an oven, I'd have been using it before I woke, before I went to bed. Same. Well, these are questions that you just have to learn to ask people. Again, we can ask I'll the innkeeper sure to, later. I'll make sure to use your name too, so that they know to get, so I can get the same service. Yes, yes, thank you. You, you, you treat yourself to that. Anyways, these questions aren't making us any coin, so I believe up that hill, house the red banner. We can visit that for the foreman, or that aways is the hunters guild. They said that the mines were dangerous, so I assume either way we'd be fighting something. And speaking of uh, fighting and other things, um, do you want to take an NPC with you, or do you want to leave both of them behind? Alright, so out of character, um, we were talking to Sin earlier, and basically he said the mechanical differences between Oldar and Damon was Oldar is a... Um, Basically, like a tricky alchemist with heal bombs, and Damon's a bard. So you made him a bard. Yeah. How do you think he had such high performance? Yeah. I just thought you had some crazy crit thing to him, but all right. Yes, because he's a bard. <laughs> I think Damon didn't seem like he really. He said he would accompany us here, and then after that we'd part ways. Oldar is a merchant. He can do his thing in town and probably earn some coin on his own. Hmm. So you're saying leave both behind at the moment? At the moment, yes. Well, my, I'll throw my hat in the ring. My thing is we might get money out of Damon if we're, like, seen as his bodyguards or yes we might also draw more attention oh, that is also a fair a point hmm. well it, I was, like, <laughs> if we are concerned about being his bodyguards it may also be important to keep him with us as there's a chance he just gets assassinated in the town that is true if he hasn't parted if he hasn't left town already, we should probably keep him around us, you know. Well, I mean, I guess I should tell you guys, I tried to disguise him last night. It didn't... 
You tried to do what? I tried to disguise him because while we didn't recognize him, the people who were trying to go after him would know what he looks like. So I borrowed Alvaria's uh, wigs and makeup, and yeah, I really screwed it up. So unless somebody else wants to do that, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Did I see Damon look different when he came down in the morning? No. Probably not. Oh, okay. He washed himself off because he looked in the mirror and he's like, What the fuck? <laughs> Just like a hot mess. No, he just looked more of himself. If that's even possible. How the fuck? More real than real water. <laughs> hmm. Well. Yeah, it is, it is like. I, I guess the question is. Do so we, leave both do behind? Do we care about Damon's safety? Or does Damon think that we can even protect him? Wouldn't that be a question for him? Yes. That, that is... Uh, I mean... You got that muscly dwarf. Or, not dwarf, that's a half-elf now. <laughs> you have that muscly half-elf, I mean, you... You got that, that, that drow that looks... You no, know, really... Uh, she, she, she looks like she could do some bad things to people. She looks like she has. Talk about her party, or I'm, I'm just confused. And I mean, what about you two? Knives, daggers, anything? Bombs. 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 There we. That that does cause some damage. I guess we should voice our opinion to uh, Damon and see his opinion on it. Okay, uh, Drow Girl, yeah, no, we're not gonna be violent with the guy here. I, I mean, it, it would work, depending on how... Like, I didn't say to be violent. No, look at the chat. She knows. Such as Drow Girl. She's half drow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're gonna have we're gonna we're, okay, Alveria is full drow girl. Jonafoa is half drow girl. Oh, I thought she was just half elf. I'm sorry. She's she's half drow, half sun elf. Oh, uh, right, right, right. She's a yin yang. Drow go. Anyway, uh now this is just a simple vote. Oh, you all want to take Damon with you or not? No. I also <laughs> heard a couple other gnaws, so... Okay. It'll just be you Damn. five. Damn, Jagans, this is our experience. <laughs> <laughs> Are we even trying... Yep, sure. Oh, right. Nope. <laughs> anyway, okay, so... What do you want to go first? Foreman's House or the Hunter's Guild? They could split up. I figure. No, we just want to see what the jobs do, and then we'll we uh, group here, right? Yeah. Sure. Sounds good. I think the beefier of us should go to the Foreman's Guild because they're often looking for muscle and endurance, while the Hunter's Guild, I think we got the wit and stealthiness that type of job. So you and me can go to the Hunter's Guild, and Jess can go and check out the Hunter's Guild? Felina could come to I was gonna say, I go where my mentor goes. There. You okay. Can go for mentoring. I am rather scrawny. Yeah, which one? Guy, someone I can help so out. all the muscle people go to the Foreman's Guild. So this is how the party split is looking. <laughs> Oh, wait. Alvaria's oh, not mostly? I kind of thought for some reason she was. I have 13. Uh, well, that's... I think you qualify. Mine. <laughs> I look rugged enough. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, how... I'm not the best with the words. How many... 
This is like deciding a fucking... I swear to God, there's going to be an accident in the mines and everyone's going to be dead. <laughs> and I'm going to walk out and tell everyone it wasn't me. HP okay. means Hunter's Guild F is... Well, that was supposed to be an F. Okay. <laughs> Someone's doing a fucking... Calling the shots from an NFL playbook over there. <laughs> oh, no, it's soccer. <laughs> Oh, no. I have no idea. It's, it, it's, it's grid it's, ball. It's 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 grid ball. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> I love grid ball. Okay, whoever wants to go to the foreman's guild, go go over to the left there. Okay, that n nice little convenient post. Okay, Everyone who wants to go to the Foreman's Guild, go over to the left side of that gr that little chart. Everyone who's going to the Hunter's Guild, go to the right side of it. And Man, then we have the two the ones fuck. that are in line. <laughs> you know what? Just go. I'll fucking head to the Foreman's Guild. Just tell me where I'm going. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay. Savork. <laughs> We're gonna lock this in. Final answer. You're going home still. So nothing good wrong can happen here. Okay. Just starts heading to the hunting field. I have no idea where I'm going, but I'm just gonna start heading in that direction. This that's that's locked in. Okay, can everyone clear the drawings, please? <laughs> I'll try. Without I gotta try deleting and that lock first. Without deleting your tokens. Please, just. Good point. Good point. <laughs> Okay, so, so we'll, like, do, we'll do jo Jonafo and Alveria first. You all have, you both have been pointed to the location of the foreman's house. It is up about four layers of buildings. Because these buildings are built into the cliff sides. <clears throat> and going in there, you see a half elf woman at a kind of counter area and you see chairs lined up to either side of this room that she's in and you she looks like she's just kind of chilling out playing the playing solitaire playing solitaire like with actual cards of course with actual cards this isn't modern day well, I, thought, I always associate fucking solitaire with like present day or whatever. But anyway, I, wa I walk up to her and I'm like, uh, Sock, my friend and I heard you have some, jo some jobs going around that might need getting done. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got jobs. Um, hmm. Let's see. Well, a couple of our miners reported a, uh, a weird thing from within the mines lately. They said it looked like a head that had crab legs. <clears throat> <laughs> and it also started, like, it also ate their equipment. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, I got I got directions to the play to the uh, to the site within the mines if you wanted. All right, I will. Here, do you, do you have something I could write on somewhere? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, she pulls out a scroll of parchment and hands it to you, and lends you use of her pill and, uh, pill. Yes, quill and, uh, quill and ink. Ink pen, or ink well thing. And I write down, strange equipment eating creature. Mm-hmm. And is there a bounty on this creature, by chance? Uh, let's see. The reward is 
100 gold. And I write down 100 and underline it twice. Okay. And then I write and then I write down the directions. And then I look up and I'm like, and will that be all? Uh, That's up for today. A, we got a few others, but that was the most urgent one. Okay. I have a few other friends that I need to talk about talk about this with. Okay. So, Savork. She nods. And goes and back to turned, the game. She turns to Alvira and says, uh, in drow sign language, with one hand, uh, let's meet the others. I respond in drow sign language with, okay. <laughs> Which just looks like regular OK symbol. Yes. <laughs> Hold on, I got this. Alright, time to go to the Three Stooges over here. Is one... I call Shamp. You all... You all go to the Hunter's Guild. The building itself is kind of a sturdy two-floor wooden building and as you walk as you're walking up to the door you see through the window of the door itself that about four looks like some well-equipped crossbowmen are on their way out On gives them a friendly wave as we pass them by. They will give a friendly wave in return. And in this lobby area, you again see a kind of counter, as well as stools for people to sit at the counter. Looks like they have some drinks available. And there are stairs leading up to balcony areas. There's a... Let's... Hmm. Let's make a dwarf. Why not? There's a dwarf manning the bar slash counter. Really, Ad walks up to the counter leaning on it and asks the dwarf, Hello, how's your day been? Mm. It's been... been a Normal, normal. How about yourselves? Bit normal as well. Just had to run from a bathhouse and tried to take some cheese from a friend. Didn't work out very well. You didn't hear that, Tron. What? What? Anyways. <laughs> I was gonna say. We... Anyway. So, yes, we, we three here are looking for work. We heard this is a hunter's guild. Are you the boss of it? No, I'm not the boss. I'm just the bartender. Uh, but if you're looking for work, I mean... What we usually what we usually do is we offer mark special marks to people, but most of our work comes from people bringing in stuff that they've killed and us awarding them for it. Uh huh. <clears throat> usually we we definitely value stuff that wizards could use in their well little experiments. Mind giving me an example or two? Ah, well, they like the hairs off of giant bats, and I have no idea why. That is fucking creepy. Bats, huh? That sounds like something that could be in the cave. Like a mine. These are giant bats. Could pick you up and drop you. Most things can pick up and drop me, so you're gonna... I I'm just gonna have to trust that these are really big. Oh, I didn't even see you down there. Anyway, yes. But, uh, you know, do you want a special mark? Sounds good. Alright. Got a, uh, 
Looks like kind of an I kind of a kind of a quest here. It seems that some sort of weird beast is killing some miners in this site within the mines. He pulls out a scroll of parchment that has a you can see a a network of mines <clears throat> of tunnels and how they all link together and stuff and there's a red X on a dead end of one of the tunnels. They say it's a giant bat. Hmm. What do you say, friends? Does it sound good? Sure. And you would there. need the corpse back here then? We need the corpse back in order to get the material in order to process the materials. Yeah. I mean, wh why not? I mean, if it's in the mines anyways, uh, we have people that are working down in the mines, so I guess Guess now would be a good time to have a cart that wasn't full of cheese. It actually has quite a lot of room in it. Does it now? I yeah. imagined it was full. No. <laughs> it, as much cheese as it is, it doesn't... If I push it to the side, it actually stays there pretty well. Oh, good, good. We just have to... You know what? I'll buy some sacks and keep the corpses away from the cheese. That doesn't sound I good. Mean, Yes, we wouldn't want some blood cheese. Although I've had this recent idea of... Maybe some wizards would like blood cheese. Yes, but we're not selling this cheese for money yet. I mean... I'm intrigued. I mean, are, are you in contact with these wizards? Bat blood aged cheese? Ah, bat blood aged cheese, yeah. Yeah, I'm not in contact with any wizards, but uh, oh, okay. One of my one of my one of my brothers over in Gevna, he 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 knows a couple wizards that make blood cheese. If you ever write a letter to him, ask him to ask the wizards if they can milk bats. Shall do. I... Ask the question you asked, not the thing works. about the blood cheese. Okay. Serious question. By the, so we're, we're probably going to go look at that. We'll see what we... If we come back here, would you mind having some sort of information prepared about blood cheese prices? If you could. Mm. If I can. If you can, of course. Gold would be more important. We're not necessarily that interested in it. Well, maybe he is. Well, I mean, and maybe it's I am. an interesting venture to explore. And it's more access to gold. Blood cheese vendor. No, I never thought of myself as one. Too bad I don't have a cellar where we can age cheese in. Alright, y'all go back and uh, catch up with Jonah, Foa, and Alvaria? Yeah. Okay. So y'all meet back up wherever you had determined the meetup location was. I think it was oh. right outside the tavern, but I don't know. Just, oh, well, very aware. Where are you from? Oh, I'm just a traveler. A traveler, but even travelers are bored places. I was born on the road. Huh. Interesting. So. You two, as you're discussing, you see your three comrades, you know, walk up to you. I walk up to them, look really out in the face, and I'm like, Okay, so, what happens here, we fucking ran into is, uh, 
And basically a, a humanoid head with crab legs is eating people's equipment down in the mines. And if we get rid of it, there's about a hundred gold in it. I place my hand on Jonafoa's shoulder and look her dead in the eye. What the fuck? <laughs> well, that's what they told me at the, uh... Foreigners guild. Well, we have something similar, less creepy. It's a bit more normal than what you just described. We have some giant bats that need killing. Apparently, in the hunters guild, they're looking for wizard components, and giant bats and anything else we kill along the way can be brought back for money. Did you get a price range? Because I got a hundred gold. They said that they would have the prices ready once we return. Hmm. Ooh, I don't like that. Oh. It kind of depends on what we bring back, really, so it's more like a high-risk, high-reward thing. There, there are some uh, well-skilled-looking guys walking out of there looking happy with themselves, so I'm sure it's decent business. Yeah. Well, We're fully equipped. If we don't like their price, we can just take it and... Do something else with it. I'm sure one of one of you 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 cast. I'm sure some one of us can make interesting components out of it that we may need. Don't you like put frog legs in potions and mix them up? No, no, not always. Most of it is, <laughs> most of it is herbally grown. So you mix herbs together, not like. Most most of the most of the strange stuff that I have to put together for it is provided by my father. He doesn't tell me about his cellars that often. Never ask about his cellars. Yeah, that, exact, exactly. That is the first one of the first rules of business. It so quite... I haven't asked. To clarify here, Scron is our son, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. And you're rat folk and old person Mm-hmm. Yes. This just clicked. Carry <laughs> on. What? Sorry? Nothing. No. I was thinking to myself. Oh, like, out of character, what did you say? I didn't hear you. Oh, what? I said this just clicked in my head. Like, I, I just noticed what's going on there. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think's going on there? It's That's a little odd. Okay. Judge is on the right track. I'm very confused by draft. So what you want to do? It's either adoption or it's alchemy. It's adoption. <laughs> Something happened. I mean, okay. As far as Scrawn knows, it's adoption. We could go. We could go full metal alchemist, and it's all secretly alchemy, and all those memories were fabricated. <laughs> Never seen but full metal alchemist. As far as Scrawn knows, it's adoption. <laughs> LMAO, what if Scrawn's just the rat version of the dog girl? God, stop. No! Uh, we don't mention dog girl. I've never even seen it, and I know the memes enough to know what you're talking about, which is sad. Yeah. Anyway, well, I'm saying we do this, uh humanoid thing with crab legs in the mines and then my gut tells me not to because that that's just strange voodoo to me but I'm also curious I say we go into the did, did they give you any clear direction on where to go in the mines to find this thing yeah I wrote it down in the scroll oh so they actually oh, yes. like, I... turn but this is like Sorry, but so like we could just go down there and whatever we run into first, we fight it, we see how we feel afterwards, and then if we don't feel like continuing, we go back and claim what reward we get. And then we continue again tomorrow. Can always kill two birds with one stone, kill yeah. the crab thingy, and the take the corpse after we get the money 
for killing it, take the corpse over to the hunter. I did not think about taking that thing's corpse to them. That is a genius idea. Also, I hold up my scroll next to uh, Jonah Foas and see if the location is kind of similar or not. Yeah, you kind of have to, like... For some odd reason, your map is drawn at a different angle than hers, but the two of you can figure out how they align. And if the scale on the map is correct, they are hours apart. And they're both in the mine, right? They're both in the mine, yep. That's a big-ass mine. <laughs> it is a big-ass mine. Did you, did, you, did you not see the, the mountain range? I didn't have this whole damn thing. I thought it was kind of going to be like... Oh, no. No, that's... No. No, no, they got... Yeah, that was... Before you deleted it, that was better. Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> shit. My scroll wheel. What happened? Anyway, I, I vote for uh, whatever's you, closest you died, one apparently. to enter. Oh, no, there you are. Whichever one is closest. Hmm. I actually didn't think about that. Let's see. <laughs> the crabs. The head crabs are closest. Crab people. Crab people. Walk like crab. Talk like Walk people. Like people. Do the creepy things first, I suppose. Sounds good. Are we all set? We can always we can always go fight the other thing tomorrow. There's nothing stopping us. It's not like we're only gonna be here for one day and then walk back. And now uh, should we take the cart? Require a smaller wheelbarrow. So are you all sure we don't wanna bring Damon along in case there's assassins out? What do you mean, in case there's assassins out? The point of leaving him is that more might come. Wait, what? <laughs> you just said... had this conversation. <laughs> Didn't you guys? I thought so. I mean, Kyle, I must have been asked. Have you been dipping into the LS Weed again? I... What the hell is LS Weed? Spawn raises his arms and just what you leans against the wall waiting for people and then smells himself again and then immediately gets off the wall and just stands still. Anyways, yes, should I? I get a wheelbarrow for what we we're dragging back if we do two jobs. We can, we can bring the cart. We just need to have a tarp. I was just not sure if it would fit in mine or not. I don't know. We we can go scout out the <laughs> scout out the front area. Nah, sure, let's go. Hey. No. No. Yes. No, Felina. My cheese. What? <laughs> what? Uh, uh, uh? My cheese. My cheese. <laughs> My cheese. Selena, where are you going? And honestly, do you pay zero attention to your mentor? I could sit here and scold you all day, and as I scold her all day, I try and steal a piece of cheese. <laughs> okay, roll it. <laughs> yeah. Nope. <laughs> no. I super noticed. I, I rolled better than that. Come on. My perception roll was uh, 18 natural on the die roll. Yeah. You're a perceptive little runt, aren't you? I had a 20. I'm humble to myself. Yeah, I, I have like 25, 25 odds. It's like, hey, I heard that. <laughs> what? God damn it. <laughs> yes, that's what we have a mind to go to. Prize me for. Basically, nothing has been stolen from the shop because I just watch people so I can learn how they act. And I learned the people that try to steal stuff aren't very good at it. And apparently not. Yes, you do have a mine to go to. So, let's go to the mine then, shall we? Oh, uh, wait, don't we still have to buy that tarp, or we... did we get we that? Are we are checking out if the mine, is, the mine entrance is big enough to support a cart in the first place. Yes, Otherwise, yes, it definitely is. With us. Barrel. It is, so take the cart. Okay, so we're picking up a tarp. 
Okay, I do not know how much a tarp is. Yeah, I've been kind of hanging out on the inventory sheet here, and I don't... Is there, like, a, like a sec... Like, how much is, like... I'd assume it's, like, the equivalent of how much, like, two things of peasant's clothes would be, right? Just, like, that fabric weighed out, essentially? Uh, I'll make it... I'll make it five gold. Kind of like... I mean, a bedroll is a silver piece, but it wouldn't have... Unless you're just gonna buy a blanket, which is five silver pieces. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not worried. I was like, then, like I just need something to like cover. Then yeah, let's let's just do a bl let's do a blanket for five yeah, silver like, pieces. I mean, I'm just throwing something over my cheese. Yep, blanket for five silver pieces. Okay, happen. Yep. Okay. And can someone clear the uh? Whatever the the blue stuff is, so I can uh, it's, it's gather all your tokens. <sighs> we were what are we discussing in chat the whole time about our new plan? We were gonna make. We are considering making a couch out of cheese. All right, uh, Felina and Alveria, join your. Join your comrades so I can, you know, copy paste. Buy a class little bathtub. No, here, there. Just make it easier for myself. All right, so the caves are dark though. Who has dark vision? I. I. I have a torch. And yeah. I also have low light vision. I have a lamp. Which the combination of low light vision and dark vision is just called dark vision in 5e. Uh, what's your what's your lamp's radius? A uh, sixty. Looking it up. Okay, Felina, what's your? Oh yeah, it's a torch. I should I should know this. What's your torch? <laughs> torch. I know what torches do because I remember now. Is it like Lamp 30, is a 15 foot radius. Light in the 15 of, foot uh, radius? Okay. And an additional 15 after for. Oh, okay, so it's 30 total and then 15 of dim. Got it. Yeah. Okay, time for me to copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. So you follow, you go into the mines and you follow the map. The mines are fluttering with the sounds of pickaxe hitting stone or falling to the ground, and the toil of many miners. And as you go deeper and deeper into the mines, following the network of minecart tracks. It starts getting, the sounds start getting fainter as the population starts dimming. Or not dimming, starts petering off. There we go. And eventually, did, there's no sounds at all. And it's about 15 more minutes from when all the activity dies down that you finally reach this dead end. Do I smell any seafood? You do not smell seafood. Even with my super scent? Even with your super scent. What you do smell, however, is the the smell of splintered wood. Does splintered wood have a different smell than just wood? Sawdust. There you go. And I'm gonna go. And you can hear more splintering coming from within this little dead end. I hold my torch to the ceiling and look up. The ceiling is about 30 feet up, and there is nothing on the ceiling. At least not where you can see. 
the place. Said this was the place. Mm hmm. <coughs> Make perception checks. Wow. wow. <laughs> Detection all around. <laughs> hey, and someone doing a rock ballad. Wow. Damn. Alright, come on. Come on, Elveria. What can you Let's... See? Well, okay. Oh, everything. <laughs> well, it's a confirmed <laughs> critical detection. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> confirmed <laughs> critical detection. Anyway, uh, Elveria, you're busy, you know, studying the cave wall or something. Meanwhile, the rest of the group sees these nasty little... Indeed, they are heads, and indeed, they do have crab legs. And they are gnawing, just eating the various types, the various wooden equipments that are uh, scattering this place. You use those for... Yeah, because I couldn't find oh, a hey. god I couldn't find a goddamn picture of one of these things, so I Wait, used that. I just... Careful, people! They know Morse code. Wouldn't I just see them because I have one hundred twenty decoration? <laughs> they were they were hidden. Oh. But everyone everyone beat them except for you. All right, gang, let's get to work. All right, you wanna they you hear them start chattering to each other. Uh, I'm just gonna really quickly, like, run over, jump on top of the cart, and just try and, like, slash down at it. Alright, acrobatics check to get on top of the cart. Let me just get my, uh, armor check penalty calculate. okay. It it's minus four, so. So? Good luck. Unfortunately, you do not manage to clear. You do not manage to clear the cart, and you just kind of. You, you don't you don't fall over, but you do run into the side of it. Alveria, how can you not see these spiders over here? Can I try and bolt the cart over the thing? <laughs> I'm gonna call that the start of combat, and on your turn, you can try to. Everyone still see their initiatives? No. No. Eh, well. Well, we have to add ourselves when we roll, right? There you go. Wee! Wow, really, yeah, you're pretty fast. Improved initiative is fun. I am clearly afraid of these things. Improved initiative? It's a thing that you can get as Alright, really, it gets you plus four. <laughs> I will move. How how tall is the car? Like, does this crab poke through it or not? Uh, the crab does not poke through it. The only reason you even see the crab is because it ate a hole in, into the cart. Oh, goody! Well, I'll go here and I'll try and throw a dagger through the hole. <laughs> All right. Hmm, does he have cover? That's the question. Probably not. If he's in a hole, he probably has cover. Yeah, I didn't expect cover to come into play quite so, uh... Quite yet. Correct. Yeah, it doesn't... Tell me what the actual fuck... Okay, nah, just roll normal attack. God damn, that strength <laughs> mod. Jesus Christ. That was a and... You managed to thread the needle and indeed hit this thing for a measly one damage. You have scratched its little crab leg. 
You could do zero damage with that. That's so bad. No, Wait, what's it your... does one non-lethal damage if I roll a one. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Zero actual damage. How about that? Oh wait, because it's uh, flat-footed, you get your sneak attack. Oh shit! Not much better, but okay. Yeah, it is. Don't laugh at me. There we go. Okay, I'll bury you. Cloak of darkness. End. End. Okay. Scrawn. Ah. Oh, yeah. uh, well, so, uh, 15, 20, all, blah, blah, bomb. Alright. Alright, uh, roll your damage. All right, now you've missed the target itself. So it's gonna have to make a reflex save or takes. Yep. Oh, uh, D8. This could actually be real bad. Oh, let me actually roll that. Oh. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Okay. Uh, Jonathan needs to make a reflex save. Uh. I'm good at this. I can hear you, I'm just, uh... Okay. I wasn't sure if you had... Yep, come on, let's get these, uh, reflex saves going. It's made its save, and I've already taken off the HP. Nope, you're gonna Fuck. take six damage. Ah! Uh, uh, sorry! <laughs> and I'll be return. Fucking watch it! <laughs> I, I, I did! It just Selena! Okay, was... this one up here, is it still in the cart or. No, no I can... it's, it's on the ground. Then I'm gonna move out of the group over here and try to. Try to what? Shoot! Oh, shoot. Okay. Yes. I know it's over here somewhere for 20 feet. I'll remeasure in a minute. There. <clears throat> oh, I might have. I might still have it turned down to uh, 4E, 5E compatible. Yeah, we have. Movement issues when moving diagonally from a recurrent. There we go. Now remeasure Felina. You know what? You know what? Nah. You can you can stay there. Since I forgot to it's it's my fault. Uh, oh yeah, that's like thirty five feet over there now. Jeez. Yeah. Are you within Everyone. thirty feet of it? Nope, you're not. Okay. So you deal two damage. Yeah, I'm sorry, I thought I moved twenty. That's all good. Jonafoa. Alright, I'm just gonna move to the other side of this cart. Alright. So, and just guillotine and just bring the fucking giant katana down. Let's see that attack roll. That is indeed a giant katana being brought down. Hi, katana. <laughs> yep, that thing dead. Is that like power attack or? That's a lot of Fucking damage hurts. for a power attack. 
It's, um, all right. You know how I'm two-handing the weapon, right? So that's plus six. And then power attack's going to be plus three since I'm two-handing the weapon. Shit. You do a lot more damage than me. Uh, you, have an 18. I... you have an 18 in strength. Yes, that is yeah. four. Okay. So that's, that is strength, strength and a half. That that's is terrifying, yep. Yep, I and got it now. I four. got it. Okay, now it's their turn. Let's see. Yeah, this one can move the distance. What is that thing, by the way, if that's anything at all? that That's a fallen torch. Oh, okay. Nothing significant. Just making sure. Alright, so, Scron, what's your armor class? My armor class by the low. Let me, let me make sure exactly what it is. It is... 16. Not as low as I thought it would. Well, tries to bite you, but you move out of the way. Felina, what's your armor class? 17. You also managed to dodge this thing's bite. And it's really its turn. Um... Can I, like, talk on my turn normally? Like, yeah. say a quick phrase? Shron, head to the other side of it! Not Shron, damn it, Shron! That itch throws me off. And I delay my turn until after his. Just think of it's short for Scrawny. Hi. No, it's just Scrawn. Scrawny! Alveria. <laughs> Alveria, what's up? Cause fear? Okay. It looks at you and speaks in some weird language. What language? Oh god, they talk. Uh, I don't know. Scrum, what languages do you have? Common, undercommon, orc, dwarven, goblin. Yep, you don't understand it. Okay, I was just curious. Is it Sylvan? It is not Sylvan. Probably Abyssal or uh, Abolith. Do they speak deep? No. Those kind of high pitched voices. <laughs> Alright, that's it, Alvario? Yeah. Alright, Scrum. Okay. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but. Do, do I provoke attacks opportunity no. by moving? No. Oh, that yes. Does that? What? Okay. Because so, that's not a five foot step. That's moving ten yeah, feet. Yeah. So. so oh. Yeah. So. So Scott. So. Is it all right if I just move here? Yes. Yes, you can move there. I'm talking to Rillian. No. I, guess I say thing. totally in character, do your thing! I forgot the mechanics of this world. <laughs> just gonna... He's like... Ah! Ah! The five foot step. So, Fuck, that kind of sucks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, it's like, correct me if I'm wrong, but... Moving around a person provoked the attack of opportunity. Unless you do acrobatics. Yeah, you could do the acrobatics. Uh, uh, I'm not good at that. I'm really not good at that. It's a uh, uh, 5 plus the opponent's combat maneuver defense. Is there this... Uh, player thing too or not what or you can uh, let, me, let me see if no um i don't no that's moving through people ah okay so it'd just be their cmg uh front size is like 
You also forgot the important mechanic that I'm currently not threatening them with a melee weapon. Use your teeth! I cannot use that with my current setup as a ratful. <sighs> These are use some odd, hands. odd First target you bomb our friend, right? now you can't also, even flink. Oh, no, I can... Uh, I was gonna pull out my kunai, but I realized I couldn't do that as part of my move because I only have zero bab. <laughs> God damn you, but zero bab! What is this talking I'm hearing?! Yeah, this is a little... This is both in and out of character. Exactly! <laughs> remember the me remembering the mechanics, I'm sorry. Um... I can't even throw a bomb because it's gonna provoke an attack of opportunity. So you're just doing a little jig. Then just Charlie Brown? Pulling out a knife is gonna... Alright, sorry. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna back up here if it's okay. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna five foot step out of his range. <laughs> okay. And then I am going to throw a bomb... Uh... I'm going to throw a bomb at this corner. Which corner? Oh, that corner? Okay. Yeah, this one. I do not want to... So, I have to hit AC5. Yep. Let's see. Ooh. Let's see if you hit AC5. Yes. You do indeed hit AC5, and it has to make me a deck save... Uh, Reflex save. Oh, yep, nope, it takes the full brunt of the Aha. explosion. Alright, yeah, and that'll be my turn. Really, Ed? Oh, I do this to Okay, well, I guess I step up here. Not measure up there, step up there, five feet. I can still take a full attack, correct? You can. Wow. Well, you. You plunk. You you managed to plink it in its leg for one point of damage. It looks angry at you, Felina. I'll just I'll pretend I have imaginary friend flanking. Isn't that like a monk thing where they can just flank with themselves? Yes, Felina. And as you hit that one, you see that. Underneath it is another one. Holy crap, there's more of them. Is that your turn? Oh, also because you fired a ranged weapon, you get attack of opportunities. I figure, but I didn't want to take the time to switch weapon. Don't worry, they both miss. Oh wait, that's, oh. A nat, that's a nat one. Yeah. Yeah. As you're as you're fighting this, you realize there's one underneath this one as well. They are stacking. Oh no. How big are these things that they're taking up the same space? They're small. Oh okay. I th okay. Also, there could be uh. Four in one space. Also, the one one of the one of these little things that hit, try to hit you is now off balance. The one on the bottom. The one on the top. Darn. <laughs> Jonah Foa. I jog over here. <laughs> Slip in between them and do the slashy thing. I try and hit it with my sword. Okay, try to hit it with your sword. Nope, it dodges to the side. Fuck. And now. The one that was not dazed, the bottom one, is going to try to take a swipe at you, Felina. Damn, these guys are rolling low. Yay! Okay. 
Then there's one against Jonafoa. That one's an actual hit. Assume what is your armor class? 18. Yeah, nope, that's a hit. And I just gotta make sure I got the damage right. Oh, I oh wait a minute. Oh ho! Something bad might happen here. Oh. Oh no. Jonafoa. <laughs> oh my god, that's so pathetic. That's so Yay! bad. Yay! Although Jonafoa. Max out. <laughs> that would not. I'm down. Out. You're that down. Would... Yeah, because Scrawn. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well. Unfortunately for Jonafoa, this thing has bitten through her armor almost like it was tissue paper. And it has actually started eating the armor that it bit through. Was that a nut? It was a it was a it was a critical hit. That's all you need to know. I know I'm needed. I know that I don't have to heal you after this. <laughs> Whoops, what am I doing? No. There we go. No, that was no, that was not where I was move, trying to move them. I was trying to move them there. Okay. Alveria. What in the world is going on up there? Someone's playing around with the uh, with the new movement features. It's just so cool. How do you do that? Spacebar. Uh, Spacebar. You can also right click now. Like that. It says Q is the other one for me. Yeah, if you press Spacebar, it actually tells you that they've updated the. Alright, and let's see, centered on you, a 50 foot radius. Uh, let's make it a nice good old black aura. Wow, that is definitely oh, no. a bane. Yeah. yeah. Okay, all... Okay, so this one is feared. And the bottom one... Oops, there we go. Bottom one over here is feared. Is that one still dazed too or not? No, the top one. The top one is now not off balance. Oh, okay. Scron. Yes. Your turn. Okay. Unless I'm Alveria has anything else, but oh no, that's right, Alveria moved and then spell cast. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. I will use my full turn to feed Jaffa a potion. All right. That is how long it takes with zero babbed. Specifically, a cure light wounds extract. One D eight plus one. Yeah. And since you said that was your full turn, we are gonna yeah. move on to really Yay! She's threatening again. Is she? I will, I suppose. Yeah, she is. Yeah. What? Wait, they can attack opportunity. Yeah. Go over the cart. Alright, acrobatics check. Do, 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 do. Nope, you do not clear the cart. These are evil ass carts. Yeah. And also, you still provoke an attack of opportunity. Eh? Yeah. You did not beat their CMD plus 5. I moved 5 feet. Oh, you, no, you're just doing the five-foot move? Okay. That, that's <sighs> it. Okay, now we're getting a little bit of somewhere here. Finally. Finally, you take your daggers and plunge it into the heart, heart of this foul beast, and it, 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 it 
ceases to exist. First blood. For me. That's right. the one that was chewing into me, right? Yes, that is the one that was chewing into you. Okay, cool. Alright, Felina. If this okay. doesn't work, you guys give me a new bow, and she dropped her short bow to pick up her rapier. Okay. Uh, which one, top or bottom? The one that was in fear. That's the bottom one. Alright. We are doing some low damage rolls tonight. <laughs> well, well, okay, okay, look, look, so, okay, you, you don't get to talk over there, you. You have plenty of damage for everyone. I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> Does fear uh, have any sync attack bonuses to it or not? No. It's Bane, okay. not fear. Oh. It's, it's Bane, yeah. I was confused by the symbol. Jonah Mine. Boa. Say, Strawn, which one are you bombing? Um, it'll probably end up being. It'll probably end up being this one. But if you want to go. Jonafoa charges at this one. Okay. Top or bottom are you gonna try to hit? There's two of them there. Um, hmm. Don't step on my bow. I'm not stepping on it, I'm guarding it. By placing my foot on top of it. Uh, <laughs> which one hasn't been touched yet? Uh, the top one. I'll go for the top one. Okay. That's a hit. Um, 18 to 20 is a will confirm. Is a critical threat for a katana? I believe. Nadachi. Oh, Nadachi. Ah. Ah. Does it say that in the equipment trait? Yes. Then yes, you're gonna have to roll to confirm. Do I still get the charge bonus? Yeah, you had all modifiers. That's a critical confirm. Oh, yeah, your min damage is gonna be enough to fucking wipe that thing from the face of the planet. Jennifer, you charge and you basically do a baseball swing, but since you're using a fucking Nadachi that's slashing damage, you cleave that little head crab right in two. That Anyway. Time for these people to start moving. Okay, these two slither over to you, Alvario. They're gonna make a couple of attacks. Your AC with your cloak is seventeen. Oh, they see. skitter. Seventeen. Seventeen. One of them. Seems to easily tear through your the armor conjured by your shadow cloak, using its teeth, and bites into you for seven damage. Okay, Felina. I have good news for you. You have been hit, and you have been bit. For nine damage. That's not that's good not news. Good. Why is that not good? Oh, that's your health. I thought you were gonna do something along the lines of, but you have not been crit, but you know. Doesn't well, it was a nat 20. Uh, well, it rolled a nat 20 and then rolled a nat 1, so. <laughs> not not a, not a critical confirm. Least, you should have at least said, but you have not been crit. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I should yeah, I'm trying to figure out what the good news is of hitting nine. It's like, ah ha 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 ha. Oh. Uh, well, you could have been crit. That's that's the good news is you were not crit. Alvaria. Good right, step. Good step. And. Damn. 
Man, plus six. Damn. Yeah. Ancestor right. weapon. <laughs> uh, Alright, that's a hit. Seven damage, alright. This thing's looking pretty, pretty, pretty bad. I mean, technically that would have been a plus two because flanking, but it doesn't matter. You're not flanking. No, not yet. No, it's, uh, you're not flanking with it. You gotta be directly across. Oh, really? Yep. Yes. Yeah. And also, she's down. No, I'm not. I'm not. Down. She's oh, got I one. You were down. He's, one he's DHP! Down. One DHP. Scron, what's up? Do stuff. Bomb. Bomb. Okay, there's two of them there. So, let's yes. see what happens. Uh, for a priest, I'm targeting the top. Okay. Or, yeah. Yeah, we'll just say I'm targeting the top one. That is a hit. So, gonna say 11 or half of that. Yeah, yeah, no, top one, top one burns. And then the bottom one is takes a pretty significant chunk of combat or combat yeah damage chunk of combat yes he does take a chunk uh, of combat I'm gonna move over here as to not be at digital as to... hey I'm really it really Ed gathers himself from the cart and I found a way to do this earlier why is it not doing it now why is that now 35 feet there's no god no, 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 you, you still have it right. Move one space to uh, What? Oh, you know what? I want to make sure. Ah, you know what? You move, you're moving at two angles. Yeah, oh, that that does kind of suck. I did this last, during the other turn. Okay, whatever the hell. I'm taking an opportunity uh, attack, so let's see if I get past this guy. Yeah, say, go no, through no, him. There's, there's a way, way you can do it, first off. Five... 25. You can walk through plenty of space. She's cur oh, no, no, she's never mind. Don't listen to me. Yeah, I don't know yeah. what the moving on. there. It is moving on. Alright, taking attack of opportunity. Uh, do you want to make yeah. a no acrobatic check? No, because that takes a. Well, I'll do it to try and move at full speed, whatever the hell. Okay. Hey! <laughs> I mean, no. You managed to dodge an attack of. Well, they can't take the attack of opportunity, so everything's what? good. And then those are my two attacks. Well, the Flanking. first one does nothing. And then the second one does four. Which is enough to send this thing back to whatever hell it spawned from. Hey, Felina, how are your wounds doing? Yeah, I'm not doing so well, so she's going to try getting as far away from that one as possible. So basically behind Scrawn. Okay. I, I am not what they call a meat shield. That's Shut up and hold still. Oh, uh, would I have been able to pick up my bow before I did that? I don't think so. Well, yeah, you could use your standard action to pick up your bow and then move. Yeah, because I'm not attacking so I've been able to. Yeah, so I would have done that. I picked my bow again. Jonafoa. She steps in here and in one motion of sort of like a step slash. Mm, okay. Fuck. Yeah, nope, it dodges. Hmm. Hmm. Tax hmm. opportunity? Tax opportunity. Let's go nah, it's gonna try to gnaw on Jonafoa. Don't worry, Jonafoa. You've you've managed to dodge and prevent it from eating more of your armor. Alveria.
bold. Let me just, uh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, make your attack. That's a hit. You have managed to slash into this terrible, terrible beast. Unfortunately, it was not a very deep slash. Scrawn. Scrawn, if you throw a bomb, I swear on the gods, I'll kill you myself. <laughs> Actually, I would prefer healing bomb if you have one. Uh, I haven't learned that technique from my father yet. But, uh, let me see. There's a like, few people out the back. And... Ah, yes, yes. I have another. And he uh, gives you a. He feeds you a cure like me. This is his full turn. Elliot, that's all I can. Elliot goes here, and he's gonna stab at it, and he's gonna holy shit. Hey, that's a crit confirm. All right, and guess what? You, uh, you know what? You can describe this final one, or do you want to take a card? Huh? Do you want to take a card instead? I forgot to, uh... I forgot to... I forgot that the critical hit deck is ready, too. Oh god, what's that do? Sure. Mm, let's see how cool your... That's a piercing weapon? Yeah. Alright. You run over... Do your... Take your dagger in a reverse grip. And then you drive it right into the head... Of this terrible, terrible abomination... And somehow you've managed to strike your dagger so hard that you've pinned this thing to the ground. You did a push pin! I, I fucking look at the crab, and then I look at my scrawny ass arms. Where'd that come from? I'm gonna flex in disbelief. Just... <laughs> You gotta hang now. <laughs> nah, I kid. Well, if you're wondering, the top of, um... Non... The top of the heads of humanoids aren't fully formed yet, so there's a soft spot that you might have struck. Wow. Huh. You just made this a lot more creepy, comparing them to actual human children. Well, I think the pictures of them do, do that enough, really. <laughs> Yeah, I thought I was, uh... You don't need to continue the comparison. Oh, I mean... You can't. Anyway, is that all of them? That seems to be all of them. I gather my dagger from this one. If someone wants to help me yank it out... Yeah, I got you, and I put my hand in and sort of pull it out the ground. Ron takes a minute and, uh... Puts together another extract of your wound. So, what condition are these cards in? They have many holes in them, due to no doubts due to eat being eaten by the weird crab baby creatures. Well, Do how many cards are there? What, really? Do the wheels function? Nope. The wheels hmm. have been eaten. And All of the cards have no there. wheels. All of the cards have no wheels. Some of them barely have a frame. Hey, Scron, can I borrow some wheels of cheese? Oh my god. Why? That's. I want to put wheels on the cards. We'll I... use the wheel of cheese. I'll hard them no. up. And... No problem. It'll be a thing. No. No. I just need four wheels of cheese. It's too late. I think thing. you it's misunderstand how a wheel of cheese works. Not... It's a wheel. No. Did you say no? Yes, it is a wheel. <laughs> no! This is not happening. No, no, no. You are not doing this. This is not going to happen. You are not going to use... They, they aren't even perfectly round. Felina, Felina, come here. Come here, Felina. Off into this corner. Come here. Scrawn readies a bomb. <laughs> 
stays... Lena, c come here to this corner. Wait, wait over here. Yeah, he, he stays just, within 20 feet of them. Just, 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 just come here. I had to find out where <laughs> you were first. My map was too big. Let me turn my lantern off. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I dampen my torch. We really gotta think of a plan to get that cheese. <laughs> Why is this cheese so fucking important to you? Okay, character, I have improv- Um, basically MacGyver feet trait. I can make stuff sometimes. Ron is not okay with this. This isn't about your habits anymore, Felina. Th this is our reputation on <laughs> not fail so cast... many times. I'm gonna cast this very far over there. You don't know where we're at. We might have moved since we turned out our light. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm gathering up all the little corpses. Okay. I'm not even near Felina anymore. I'm just talking to a wall, thinking she's still there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, there's some burnt torches here. I might be able to do, like, an axle thing with those. The, are any of these carts even recoverable? I don't know. Like, uh, well, all the wheels have been chewed on, but I thought I could put enough pieces together to make my own. I mean, there's, like, barrels on this one. Those kind of wheel around, so if I do the barrels and I put them on the torches, that make an axle type thing. So that'd make a... So you'd want to push around your own cart for... Who knows how long? Well, not for how long. I mean, we just needed to get these back out of the cavern. Wait, wait. I have my cart right here. Oh. We brought yeah. my cart for that reason. Okay, I guess we can just do that then. Isn't it full of cheese? Uh, no, yeah, but like, that's what we, the blanket's we, we for. This, we had this discussion. The cheese can actually... This, the cheese is just very way to cover bring the floor right now, it could easily be pushed into a court and it would stay there relatively. Yeah. Alright, then I'm gonna empty all the crab babies onto the blanket of the cart. That's a new sentence I've never heard before. <laughs> and we'll have to repeat again. A rare sentence, that. Uh, yep, okay. You now have six crab baby corpses. You know, I just realized that we keep calling those babies. We, have, we should not stick around. There might be. Yeah, we might want to get out of here. If, if we well, think these are babies, where the heck's mom? So well, wait, hold on. What are these boxes? Those boxes have been eaten. Oh. Uh, but there, there is a tiny hole up here. There is a tiny hole up there, yes. No? Okay. Well, it's like, Scrawn oh, no, mentioning I... it, Scrawn has no interest in actually checking it out. The I don't know, I'm wants. I'm watching Alvaria do laps. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, I'm not feeling so hot about going anywhere further, so we'll record that we have been there, and there's a hole, but uh, let's try to get some money out of this first. So we report that we defeated the crab babies to uh, the other guild first, not the hunters guild, the other one. The foreman. Yeah. Yeah, we'll show them to her and then we'll explain that she can't keep. Oh, as long right. as as long as I know you guys are taking care of them, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, Did your accent change? No, no, I've always had this accent. Oh, you're not the same poor person. Exactly. But they do look very similar. Well, tell the other um, card-loving person that, yes, the... She just grabs one of the baby's hats and shows them, like, these have been taken care of. Okay, what are those? Uh, we're calling them crab babies. They, they, okay, so, when, when I told you came here earlier, uh, they, we were told that there's a 100, there's a 100 gold bounty, uh, to take care of some, uh, crab-like things that have been eating equipment. Ah, 
Oh, that bounty! Okay. Yeah. And then she reaches underneath her counter and puts a sack of gold on top of it. There you go. I grab it and say... <laughs> Alright, thank you. No problem. Thank you for taking care of the miners for us. Only a minor problem from a stray bomb. Minor right. problem, get it? She said taking care of the miners for us. I, I sense mode of that. Yeah, minor problem. Okay. As you open up the bag, it only has 95 gold in it. Uh... Not to be turn around, and I'm like. <laughs> but it uh, turns out up. that it, but it turns out that you just miscounted the first time. Everything's good. Jesus Christ, my own dumbass is getting me worried. <laughs> I was <laughs> fucking anxious there. <laughs> yeah, it's like the party slowly starts entering murder hobo mode. Ninety five, not one hundred. Over five gold? Hey, that's like 50 silver, which is 500 copper, which is a lot. Look, here's the thing. Five gold? That's like 25 pounds of cheese. Well, alright, so there's 500 of us, and... No, there's five of us. Fucking. We're, 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 we're gonna keep it pulled for now. Oh, yeah. Did I, did I ever tell you about the uh, the party notes thing that I gave you? We're, we are going to keep the money pulled for now until we turn in the bodies to the other people, and then we'll split it after. Uh, I guess that's fair. So that we, even, we correctly evenly divide the money. But for now, uh, Jennifer, do you wanna do you wanna go to maybe a blacksmith and see about the uh, the hole in your armor? Uh, sure. Only when when, when we're done with all this. Yeah. Okay, so you take all the corpses to the hunters' guild, and instead of the dwarf, there's a there's a half orc. I walk up and I say, hey bud, how much for a few of these? And again, I just pick up the head of the baby and just sort of slap it onto the counter. Jesus Christ. What the oh, hell God. is that? Beats me. Hmm. I reckon, uh, let's see, how difficult were they to fight? Uh, baby, they stacked on uh, each other. She points to the armor. hole in her armor. Oh, I Not that hard. I thought that was decorative. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll give you a 50 gold for these. Oh, wait, I miscounted. 60 gold. Sounds fair to me. Sounds fair to all you guys? And she sort of just leans over and gives you the eye. Yeah, uh, Scron, Scron like, pipes up from was like, we, uh, the other person that was here, we, we asked, we asked him to get us, uh, the math on some, uh, blood cheese. Did, did you, did you leave, like, a note? Nope. Okay. Cool. Probably too soon for that, unless he has somebody that can magically send letters. Gee, like a wizard was sending, but if he had a wizard was sending, then he wouldn't need to contact wizards in the first place. I know. The paradox. Not a paradox, a vicious cycle. A yeah. <laughs> Easily answered. I I created a time paradox. Except it's not. It's like um. It's like if Doctor Strange looks into the future and is like, "Oh, we always win." Okay. <laughs> oh, we win every fucking time. Cool. Great. But yes, you now have a hunt. You're now a hundred and sixty gold richer. So uh. So, so what was uh, the debt that you had to pay, by the way, Felina? 
I gotta try getting my house back because after my husband had no, no, well, disappeared. But what is the monetary amount? About 200. But okay. that's just to cover my back rent. That's not even to cover, you know, future payments. Well, I'm grabbing my 32 gold. I was saying, since we were gathered here to help her in the first place, we could give her an extra split so that we aren't here for a long. So we treat it as if there were six people instead of five people. Well, I mean, I got my own goals to accomplish. So, like, I, I mean... I feel really bad for you, Felina, and, your, and and all your problems, but but we all got this, so I'm oh, taking my fifth. Thing is, though, if I had the money, you guys have a place to stay, at least for a month. For a month. So well, I mean, rent. it's like. It it's yeah it's the run for my house, but I have back payments in order to keep my house, and then it's like fifty five to maintain it, assuming that uh, Miss Villa owner doesn't decide to up it even more. Well, why don't you just kill the owner? Yeah, um, it's not that simple. Remember, Damon, it's his stepmother. Yeah. Yeah, but isn't she the one Damon doesn't even like? You do understand the power of the Bremonts around here, right? I mean, sure. But who has to know? We are seriously running. Aren't we? Look, I don't... I think landlords are inherently evil, so that, that's, like, my thing. Well, it's not really a landlord thing. She's, like, the... Above the landlord power. Even worse. Like, I'm not saying royalty, but basically. They are lords and ladies. You know, it'd be great if I could just treat treat this little this 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 little friend that I have here like like a little like a little mini guillotine I carry around with me, just lop off the head. Anyway, I'm kind of digressing. Um, also, um, weren't you kind of just hurt there from six little spider things? You don't think that there's a bunch of guards that would be watching this? Look, six little spider things and some rat with a bomb blew me up. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, to be, yeah, about half your health did kind of... That, uh, that rat is also the reason that you were able to keep fighting. So I think we just need to call that part even and stop bringing it up. So anyway, I got blown the fuck up by a rat with a bomb. <laughs> so I pulled out another bomb. Okay, were you guys having this conversation in the middle of the, the Hunter's Guild? Well, well, okay. <laughs> I think so. First off, we're having it outside of the Hunter's Guild. Second off, his bombs actually just look like balls. Like, just like big, like, big potions. Like, 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 the stereotypical <laughs> potions. If it explodes, it's a bomb. <laughs> yes, it is a bomb. It just looks like your stereotypical potion. A bomb, too. <laughs> Alright, so, y'all want to tackle Not the either. other job really quickly? After, uh, after a night's rest? Yeah, but before that, I'm gonna go see if I can hammer that hole back into place or whatever. I'll allow you to do it. Awesome. And also, uh, if you guys if you guys want any healing from Uldar or Damon, they can provide it. Oh, that's right. We're back to Pathfinder, where long rest doesn't necessarily mean healed, is it? Mm-hmm. How much is it? How much is a long rest heal again? It, it is an amount. I believe it. it's your level HP per uh, awesome. day. I'm healed. It is. Um, I know for a fact it's all. Uh, what, what, not, it's all not, not lethal damage, but then mm -hmm. it's also like a certain amount of lethal. Alright, who wants some healing? I can use some healing. 
Alright, Damon or do you want just old art to throw a bomb? Me. You want old art to just throw a bomb? Okay. I think old art is just gonna like throw a bomb at room. Everyone heal 12 HP as Oldar just throws a healing bomb into the middle of the entire group. Gron overheal. Over. My keyboard would work. There we go. Well, that feels a little bit better at least. Uh... Usually I like seafood too. Alright, so, if next day you start following the map to that the Hunter's Guild gave you, and very readily, very readily you can see that there's going to be some trouble, because as you approach the dead end you can indeed see the shape of a giant flaming bat. Flaming? Flaming. Flaming. Mm -hmm. This was not mentioned. Uh, that that is an important part that was left out. Yeah, it's kind of shouldn't hanging, the it's flame hanging, be hanging from the ceilings? Shouldn't the bat have some sort of flaming aura so we can see it even in the dark? Yeah. Depends on how much light the fire gives off. I mean, even candlelight. Okay, that works too. It's a keys! <laughs> a dire keys. It's a dire keys. It's hanging upside down on the ceiling. Alvaria is gonna engage her shadow cloak <laughs> and go <laughs> into stealth. Franz just like, well, I'm useless here. Fire! Okay. Bombs do Actually, fire damage. It's 29, technically, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can still be helpful with your healing stuff. Don't you have a any other type of weapon? Not as effective, but yes, I I have idea. Cool. All right. Surprise arrow. Villiard, uh, as you're snoop snooping along the wall, the bat swoops down and flies over everyone to you. What about the people that aren't even making stealth checks? Yeah, that's a fair point. Okay. <laughs> Jennifer would one. probably be the... I mean, it's like... I could make one, but I'm just like glowing green right now. What the heck is his fly speed? Yeah, God. Can I brace? Yeah, I think it would be charging, so you can do. You can do a brace. Oh, shit. I was gonna say, I think bats are only 50 at most, right? Let me just read what brace does. That's fine. You about to fuck this boy up. You deal double damage on a successful hit against a charging creature. You about to fuck this boy up. So basically, it'll be next time I try to attack it. No, no, no. Uh, you get a reaction when it charges you, I believe. Yeah, it's like you're reading attack, but an attack against the charge. Yeah. Okay. So roll your attack roll. That is indeed a hit. It's like a free crit, holy shit. Yeah, Brace Brace is a very, very silly ability. Very strong. But also a very uh, uh. timely ability. <laughs> So, what happens is, I guess, the, uh, I take a defensive stance, it charges, and I just sort of catch it, slice it 
right down the middle and, and like both halves just sort of fly past me actually to and be fair fucking hit me in the face <laughs> yeah you know what i like this idea okay felina and really make uh make reflex saves <laughs> oh no no <laughs> why am i sucking at all the rogue stuff that's a 14 <laughs> okay felina don't worry you're fine uh really you unfortunately get hit for oh no Six bludgeoning damage as the half of the, the bat's half of the body just kind of slams into you. I is it still on fire? Or did it get extinguished as soon as it died? Oh, that's right. It is on fire. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, really, Ed. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> and then you take one point of fire damage. <laughs> I'm just gonna give a golf quack. <laughs> Good fight. <laughs> um, yep, that's um, it. We done? <laughs> Alright, quest complete. Let's gather it up and get, bring it to the Hunter's Guild. These <laughs> <laughs> two halves of a giant bat in the cart. I guess. Wait, it's still on fire. Shit. D is the fire needed? The, the, fire, think... the fire might be needed, it might not. Alright, uh... Hmm... <clears throat> I touch it with my torch. Does it reignite the torch? It does. Okay, it's still hot, people. Uh, yes. Why don't you just spear it with your... Spear it to take weapon. the flames out? No. No, no carry it. On it. We carry it like a kebab. Like a shish kebab. Alright. Back on your nodachi. You know, I'm not sure if we have water skins, we could douse some of it all, no, but... Well, well they might need the fire. Yeah. yeah. The point being is that it may be required to bring back still flaming. <sighs> okay, fine. She just kind of does like a face pump thing, like, fine, whatever, right. let's do it. So, do any of you have longer weapons? Or is it... My torch is knives? the longest thing I have on me. I could... Probably tie a dagger to it to make a spear. Yeah, no. Gron literally just pulls out like a key ring of kunai. <laughs> this is what I've got. Y'all gotta get some weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Effective ones at that. You. Gron, you need like a, a crossbow or something. I'm not good with those. We're running like, like, through. They scared me. Wait, Alvira, you, you have a rapier, are a right? bomb dealer, and you're afraid yes. of a crossbow? Yes. I have a rapier. All of my all of my bomb ingredients are natural. I know where they come from. I don't know where these arrows come from. I don't know how to load a crossbow. All right, so I'm gonna sort of try and impale one end of the bat, bring it over to the other, and then stabs through so that it's like skewering each side. Elvira, do you see what I'm doing, right? Just do the same. <laughs> you know what? I don't uh, even, I, I'm... Dude, I, I allow this. If, if uh, Elvira wants to do it. Okay. <laughs> okay, yes. so this is something my dad talked about. So we go there... We go back there and we say that we almost died. No, he would not have talked about stuff like that. I mean, fair enough. Should should we say that we almost died? The the or the the orc friend did ask us uh, how hard it was to fight. Anyway, who's good at bullshitting? Anyone? Well, I mean, really, it's hurt and burned, so I guess he'd be the one to tell people that it was hard. Yeah, really, it's just like, hey, really, really bad. I hate you all. <laughs> don't, don't worry. Scrawn pukes because of the disgustingness of uh, really in skin after the third degree burns. One is not third degree. Yeah, no, it wasn't. It wasn't that bad. 
was like just the 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 bat thing in general because like they're skewering it from sides. It, it was cut in half, so it's probably spilling. Let's let's just say out. that He's if Riliad not... Riliad has any dates, they will appreciate his smooth skin. <laughs> you singed his beard off. Uh, he's don't missing, you fucking dare. He's missing an eyebrow. Oh no! Oh no! Well, the more fucked up he looks, the better his bullshit will be believable. <laughs> Are you escaping the eyebrow? The absence of an eyebrow. Escaping the conversation. Yep. Okay. <laughs> You've ex you successfully escaped the conversation. Okay, y'all just gonna bring that dire bat back to the hunters guild flaming dire bat flaming dire bat people do give you weird looks on the way out of the mine those same four crossbowmen you know they look at the bat look at you they're like they give you thumbs up wait wave or i, I wave. do that like nod like yeah those were the guys i was talking about earlier What's the diplomacy for? Huh? Oh, it was supposed to be to uh, bring Strax back into the uh, oh, conversation. Oh, yeah, no, he, he, no, he's, <laughs> no, he's he's far gone. And <laughs> we you, do not do. Indeed. Okay. Really? How do you how do you play this out? Let's uh, you enter into the guild hall and it's. Uh, it's uh, it's quite a bit after dinner. The orc's not there anymore. Now, really? yeah, now you see a human. He yawns. There's the the hall is kind of empty. Oh hey, what's up? Oh, we just got back from one of the tasks, man. Oh boy, was that one hell of an encounter. Yeah, you look. uh... You look pretty bad there. What'd you even encounter? Oh, uh, you know, just the, the, just the giant bats that you said were down there, except on fire. That was fun to find out. Bastard. Oh, the demon so, bat. Like, we were... Yeah. Oh, the... We were, there was a squadron of crossbowmen that were about to do the same thing. Oh, well, we found them on our way out, so they were a little slow and we killed it. It was... Quite a battle, swooped down from the ceiling, charged straight towards me. That's where my eyebrow went. It was about like a five-minute fight, us and our crew. Oh, that little bastard did not go down easily. Not but go finally, down easily, we managed yeah. to fight it, and then once it went down, our friend cleaved the bastard in half. She was so angry. You, you... Can I, uh... He leaves, he leaves the counter. He leaves the counter and he motions to a uh, spearman in the corner. W watch this. Okay. And he will, uh, you know, ask you to lead him to this corpse. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's like literally right outside the door. You don't have to walk that far. Uh, holy. Okay. Okay. That's. Yeah. 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 He goes back inside and you hear a whistle. Still on fire. And we didn't know if you wanted the flames or not, so. Uh, yeah, no, we could... I mean, we're gonna put that out, of course, but, uh, no, flaming dire bat hair is... We can reignite that, and wizards can use it, most likely. Oh. Alright, that's cool, that's that's very cool, I like it, okay. Ooh, we could've put it out. Eh. Yeah, but this way it was more fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you... Find another one of those and fucking release it upon you all when you're sleeping. Hello. Was that out loud? Uh, yes, sir, it was. Anyway, uh, I'll, I'll give you 75 gold. Do you know how much an eyebrow costs? Everyone looks at Uh, stone. they're, they're free? Not when you need to find another, sir. You can <laughs> grow them back? I'd say for our hardships... Just, just a little five gold bonus for my eyebrow. I'm grieving, you see. <laughs> Give me a diplomacy check. Fuck you. Hmm. Situational bonuses? Question mark. It's 
my eyebrow. It brought down my charisma. I'm horrifyingly scarred. Yeah, but he can still roll pretty low. All right, I'll make it an even eighty. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Uh, I was wondering if I can take a chunk of the meat. <laughs> uh, yeah, we don't really have a use for the meat. Go, go ahead. All you right. Want one of the you want one of the hunters to help you with that, or? Uh, sure. Okay. And he'll, you know, motion over. This time, this time you see a rough and tough looking feller that he whistles over. And this rough and tough looking feller has a giant sword. Hey, hey, giant sword buds. How are ya? <laughs> yeah. How are you doing? Not too bad, just, uh... This, this looks friends like, and I... Yeah, this looks like a pretty damn good kill. He takes a dagger out and just carves off a chunk of flesh from the inside of the bat. Is this good enough? Ah, uh, yeah, that would be fine enough. I'll wear, hold out her hands. <laughs> Alright, he plops the bloody flesh chunk into your hands. Where he just kind of puts it in her backpack. <laughs> okay. No you're... salt or anything. In... Yep, it's just gonna bleed all over the place. Yep. <laughs> That's just her thing. It's she's weird. Yeah. Don't mind her. Uh, that's... Have I missed something? That's her thing now. That's been her thing. <laughs> yeah, you remember the uh, raw boar she ate, right? Oh God, you're right. Why are we talking about this? Well, yeah, we're talking we're gonna... about because she has a bat meat thing right now, but anyways. Why are these things happening? How could this happen to you? Look, I, I just need money. You made your mistakes. <laughs> uh, in case some of us made mistakes, like uh, the dire bat getting cleaved in two. <laughs> the dire bat may have made the most dire mistake. Yeah. Of charging into a boarding fight. Alright, so, y'all rest for the night. And. Oh, shit, it's yeah. Oh, I took that 16 gold, by the way. Yeah, it's like. It's like divided, divided evenly, it is. We all gained 48 gold in this session. All right. This is going to be put me encumbered. Okay, so, Sin, uh, I earned that 16 gold. Is that... I have to still steal the gold, though, don't I? You do. Darn it. Oh, exhaustion, exhaustion. Hey, yes, uh, Felina. Yeah? You want my, uh, portion of the gold? No, I... You'll need money, too, at some point. Yeah, well, uh, I can't exactly carry all this and, uh, still actually run. Don't worry so about it, don't worry about it, and she pats you. Well, and she was trying to just steal it from you. <laughs> just like pats you, grabs gold bag. <laughs> Make your perception check. No, I, I mean, think she was already offering it, so I think it's yeah. a little late to like finesse it. You know what? We're gonna. I need to steal it though. <laughs> Damn it. Can can you just ignore the fact that I was trying to steal from you and just let me steal it? Alvaria knows knows that she was trying to steal it and uh, just lets her steal it. <clears throat> okay, you know what, Felina? In your mind, you have stolen it. Okay, that means my will and reflex have been reset. Yay! So disappointing. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, yep. Let's end the session um. here. Oh, sorry. Go on. 
I was gonna say, Avaria notices that there's no gold uh, at all, and she's like, oh, I must have dropped it somewhere. <laughs> I tell you, it's that dwarf again! I don't even wow. know where he's at! Hey, let's say that about my father. Not no, not your d dad. It was uh, this guy we met at the bar. Still from really Ed for a few seconds. I'm angry enough as it is. Oh yeah, I <laughs> wow, guess I shouldn't really bring that up. Did, didn't you like teach this one how to be a thief? But you're 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 getting stolen from. How intriguing! Scrum says the smile. Uh oh. I'm gonna fucking snake one of your bombs into that cheese if you ever get blind one day. <laughs> Just so oh you God. know, I have to activate them first. So it's kinda, uh, gonna be a little hard for you to bomb my. But you're my still bomb. gonna taste it. <laughs> well, it's stop. Pretty good.